let's go to the next question without wasting any time and the next question is basically a question that speaks about sources of income with two um so we've been given there we've been given the western cape and the northern cape and we've been given the sources of income for both this pie chart guys i hope you do know how to use a pie chart because um which data is going to be represented in which way so here the pie chart says to us pie charts showing the different sources of income provinces we've got the western cape and this is both 2016 and a nice thing that you can um really highlight there is that the money that's written here is all in thousands in thousands so if they say to you 117 over there 117 that 117 is 117,000, guys. Um, just 117. So it's 117,000. And we are given that. And the question says to us, let's read the question that comes with the pie charts on Annex to C, which is what I was reading now. Show the different sources of income for households in the Western Cape and the Northern Cape in 2016. Okay, use Annex to C um, to answer the questions that follow. If the total number of households in the Western Cape was 2,768,000 during 2016, just before I carry on, always know how to write out your numbers you never know you could find that one question that's got two marks and they're asking you to write out your numbers it's very important for you to know how to write out your numbers and i say this um with so much concern because losing two marks could be the difference between you getting a distinction and getting a 78. so calculate the number of households that depend on grants as the source of income. So, we are using the Western Cape. And the Western Cape, we have already been told that the total, so I'll just write there, Western Cape um, is 2,768,000. And we want to know how many of these people depend on social grants and if you look at social grants over there um social grants over here the number is actually not given but every other number is given so that means that we can subtract all the other numbers for us to find the social grant let's go down um so we would subtract a hundred and seventeen thousand because remember what i said to you guys minus i want to do that in order minus seven thousand minus a hundred and eighty thousand minus a hundred and twenty three thousand you're getting marks for all of this so don't think that it's something that's wasting your time Minus 216,000. Put all your zeros in. Minus. So we've got an amount there that speaks about salaries. It means that the number is then going to look like that. So it's 1 million. Can you see that I've been adding zero to all the numbers? It means that it's 1,404,000. So don't be scared. Um, and then another 7,000 for no. Um, and it's important for us to add that 7,000 for no, um, for us to get the answer that we are looking for. That's a big one, hey? Let's go and see what it gives us. So it's 2,768,000 minus. 107,000 minus 7,000 minus 180. 
thousand one hundred and twenty three thousand one two three minus two hundred and sixteen one two three minus one million four hundred and four one two three minus seven thousand so this should then give us i didn't see that properly seven, mm -mm, seven hundred and fourteen thousand seven hundred and fourteen thousand so this seven hundred and fourteen calculated here is going to represent the households that get grants and that rely on grants as an income in the western cape beautiful easy marks easy peasy let's go to the next question identify the third highest source of income in cape third highest so in order for us to find the third highest we'd obviously need to put the numbers in order um i'm not going to put them in order but i am going to just write a little number next to them that is two marks so you're not supposed to be doing too many um calculations in order to get that so i'll number that one i'll number that two let's go and look at the third highest third highest means one two three highest okay let's go and see so the highest income here is definitely salaries with that one million and four hundred and four thousand and then the second one um is definitely business and then the third one according to what i can see here is the remittances so, so this one is the number three there we go it's all nicely answered for us number 5.2.3 of this question calculate the difference between the number of households in the western cape Northern cape that depend on business there's that word again that i'll say whether you're calculating the difference you are subtracting so if i said i wanted to know the difference between five and six then i'm subtracting i'm saying six minus five so now we want to know the difference between the number of household um, in and the northern cape that depended on business in 2016 so we're going to go up and look at business where does business fall in let's go and see that so business is going to be this over here this is business and then business on the other side is that so we know that it's 216 minus 28,000 216,000 minus be careful with your numbers 28,000 there we go over there so now we are going to be calculating that 216,000 minus 28,000 and there we've got 188,000. So now we know that that's the difference um, between the number in the households. The last question is determine the percentage um, to two decimal places of the remittances in the Northern Cape if there were 532,000 households. So we want the percentage. Whenever you're calculating the percentage of something, it's going to be one small number. And in this particular case, it's the remittances all over all the households times, a, times 100. That's you finding out the percentage. This time the percentage is not given to you and you need to be the one that's calculating the percentage. So let's go and see. Um, and this is in the Northern Cape. So we go to the Northern Cape. In the Northern Cape, um, this, is the, this is the number we're looking for, which is 64,000. So... 
it's going to be 64,000 all over the total number of households, which is 532,000 times 100. So we know that every time we are asked for, every time we are given a percentage, it's something over that percent, over 100. Every time we're asked to calculate percent is a fraction times 100. So that's going to be 64,000 divided by 532,000 equals to times 100. So that's 12. And we are told to um, round it off to two decimal places. So we're going to make it 12 point, And if it's two decimal places, it's going to be 03 percent.